Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. Okay, we are coming at you from the campus of Concordia Chicago and it's beautiful and it's conference season and we're having fun and we're learning so much. We are doing our very best, but that is usually the issue, right? When we start to talk about how our, our best actually looks, when we start to talk about how we are doing as far as our sanctification ladder or our Christ walk or, or our progressive improvement in whatever way that you want to spin it, um, honestly, take a good look at the Ten Commandments. Take a good look at the meanings in the small catechism and then ask yourself, how are you doing today? Is it, is it really going all that well? Does it bother you? Because it's good that you care. It's when you don't care that you're sinning. It's when you don't care what you are doing that, that the problem really pops up. But the question is always really um, in terms of the progress we're making. Because as it turns out, we tend to wrestle with the same stupid sins every single day. And so our Lord in his mercy gives us baptism to confront this thing. And in the large catechism, Luther writes about baptism. When we start to talk about the, the distinction between the old Adam and the new man, what is the old man? It is that which is born in us from Adam, angry, hateful, envious, unchaste, stingy, lazy, haughty, yea, unbelieving, and infected with all vices, and having by nature nothing good in it. Now, when we are come into the kingdom of Christ, these things must daily decrease, that the longer we live, we become more gentle, more patient, more meek, and ever withdraw more and more from unbelief, avarice, hatred, envy, and haughtiness. So you are baptized. That was not a one-time action where you pledged yourself to Jesus. This is a lifelong gift. This is an identity. This is who you are in Christ, daily, dead to sin, daily, alive in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is who you are, that the new man in you would daily emerge and arise to live before God in righteousness and purity forever. And when we start then to confront what that looks like in our day-to-day -day lives, in our daily struggle with sin, the word that Luther gives us here to really hang on to for comfort is daily not increase, not decrease. It's not a measurement of more and more or even less and less. It is a measurement of daily. Every single day that the old man pops up, he has to be drowned. He has to die. And so your baptism daily does this for you. This, Luther continues, is the true use of baptism among Christians as signified by baptizing with water. Where this, therefore, is not practiced, but the old man is left unbridled so as to continually become stronger, that is not using baptism, but striving against baptism. For those who are without Christ cannot but daily become worse. See, here's the thing about sin. It's, it's infectious. So when you leave sin unchecked, it it grows and, and it breaks more and more. It doesn't stay in the nice little box that you put it in, but it starts to creep out into the rest of your life. It starts to take over more and more and it will, it will get worse. Don't leave sin unchecked. Daily, kill it with water. Drown it. And, and then we can talk about what it is that Christian life looks like. Are you going to do good works? Yep. Should you want to? Yep. Should you try to? Yep. But the thing is, if you want to measure this only in your flesh, only in how much good you are doing in any particular moment, well, there is one really easy way to do it. Luther continues in the large catechism, Therefore, the old man goes unrestrained in his nature if he is not checked and suppressed by the power of baptism. On the other hand, where men have become Christians, he daily decreases until he finally perishes. That is truly to be buried in baptism and to daily come forth again. You really want to measure sanctification by sinning less? Die. Like, honestly, you don't need to try and muscle it. You don't really need to try and aggressive sanctification your way into feeling better about how you stand before your Lord. If you really just want to measure how faithful you are by how much you're sinning, die. Except our Lord hates death. Our Lord gave his life to save yours so that you would not die, but that you would live. And honestly, if embracing, well, death is the only way to make yourself feel good about standing before the Lord, you're probably doing it wrong. So rather than look to Christ, 
who not only removed all sin, but died and rose for you and gives you a, a unity with his resurrection in your baptism. Because baptism is not measured in the absence of evil, but in the presence of good that deals with the evil in us every single day. So where are you in your progressive, aggressive, sanctification, Christ ladder walk, whatever thing that you want to talk about so that you can, I don't know, look at your own works instead of the victory you have in Christ? Um, where are you? I mean, I'm honestly not great. I'm a little closer to the grave where Jesus promises to pull me back out. But in all of it, I am baptized. You are baptized. Thanks be to God that we can stare the whole thing down in the victory that we already wear in Christ every single day. Thanks be to God that you don't have to live in fear that you backslid, in guilt that you didn't improve enough, in shame that you feel for losing a war every single day to that which you call evil. Let it drown every day just by doing this. I'm baptized. God forgive me. He did. He is merciful. He does unite you to him in his victory over sin and death. And he gives you an identity that names you holy before the Lord so that you don't have to measure these things in yourself. What a gift to be called baptized, to measure sanctification in the gifts that God would give so that it would produce the fruits where they're supposed to be. And you can call them good and you can strive towards them, but you would only ever dare to measure the gifts that God gives in your baptism.